So, um, so tell us, yeah, tell us about um, how you got the chip machine branded. The chip machine? Yeah. Well, and describe well, it. I was looking in the paper, I, I was applying for a fishing chip shop at the place next door, next door to the shop. And they turned us down. So, in the paper, there was these chip machines advertised at £800. So I thought, well, I'll get one and I'll beat the planners. So I bought the machine, I got the machine, came up from London, made in Belgium, and uh, made a stand in the window for it. And I had three holes cut in the plate glass. I wanted to put the money in, I wanted to collect the chips at the bottom, and one for the salt and vinegar. See? And uh, I had the planners down, and they were going to do God knows what to us. But at the finish, they couldn't do anything about it, because it was in the premises. So that fell then. So the machine used to operate on the uh, two sixpences in the slot and the chips were pre-blanched, 90% pre-cooked and they used to go in the hopper when the sixpences fed in the machine that set it away and it took 40 seconds for them to cook and uh, that was it. Well, after a while but before that, I put it on higher purchase and I paid £200 deposit. Now, while that was going on, the firm that I bought it off went bankrupt. So, they come to collect the machine. I says, well, they can have it if they give us £200. But they wouldn't do that. They were going to send us a solicitor. I says, well, if you send a solicitor, I'll get my solicitor, which I never had. So I thought I'd call a bluff. So they never bothered for about six weeks after. And then they phoned again to say they were coming for the machine. And I gave them the same reply, bring £200 me in cash, they didn't have it. So they never, uh, they never bothered. So that's how I had to, got the machine for £200 instead of £800. That's very good. And it went, worked very well, till the vandals got there, that way. Mm. And they were putting their hands up where the chips come down and pulling the cartons out. Mm. So I decided then to finish it. And the machine is still on the premises yet. It's still standing in the back. Dad said it. So if you want it for £200, <laughs> yeah. you can have it. <laughs> in fact, I'll knock fifty pound off. Oh. And did Dad said it was busy all the time. It oh, was yeah. really busy. Yeah, it was busy right up to twelve o'clock at night. How does it work though? How does it? Um, how does the machine itself work? Is it mechanical or is it electronic? Is that a stupid question? Well, the the pan that cooks the chips in that's electric. Hmm. But the other's just. Uh, just mechanical where you put the sixpences in, you see. You put the money in and then it drops the chips the into they the... They set the chip the basket away. Yeah. And the chips fell into the basket and the basket automatically went into the uh, fryer. You see, and then after 40 minutes, seconds, the basket come out and tipped it down the chute into the basket, into the trays. You see, and that was it. Do they, um, is the uh, fat hot all the time? Oh yes, I, that, that was kept at a proper temperature by the electric. <laughs> Very good, thank you. <laughs>